Hi, beekeepers. Happy Ostara. Welcome to our new series, Magical Mondays. Oh, we'll take a deep breath together. It has been quite a year so far. And this week we are entering lots of new things. So new moon and Ostara all in the same time. And Thursday, we get to look forward to Pluto moving his body into the water bearer. So we'll see what happens. I know we have been working really hard um, on our mental energy being inside all winter. And so now is the time to get our energy moving and planting seeds. So as we are really entering our age of Aquarius, really think about all those seeds you want to plant that are going to take root and bear fruit over the next six months. Um, and so today I thought we would start with my favorite cleansing, um, which is with salt. So you just get a little regular salt will do. This is like my grandmother's iodized salt, same, same thing. And you'll just put some in a little dish. And into that salt, um, I have this sprig of rosemary. You can do your rosemary. I'm just grinding it up in here. Um, so you'll grind up your rosemary. Rosemary is going to cleanse out all that old energy that we have left over from our mental processes and being inside and hunkered down doing our inner work over the winter. And if you don't have fresh rosemary, you can use rosemary powder um, or an essential oil of rosemary, either or. You just put a couple drops in your salt. And what you'll do after you grind it up in there, you're going to mix it into your salt. So you're just going to mix up your rosemary into your salt. And then what we're going to do is pour this into a bucket, a cleaning bucket of water. Um, use hot water so that you get that fresh cleansing scent of rosemary. And what you're going to do then is take it and you're going to flick it into all the corners of your house. So we're going to go into all the corners of the closets, all of it, just flick that energy. Um, I like to use, I have a ritual broom. This is a corn broom. Um, this is a broom I don't sweep the floors with. Um, I definitely only use it for cleansing energy. And what you do is then you'll either just sweep with a broom or if you are near a pine forest, you can also get a fresh pine branch. They will be more than willing, ask permission before you take it. Um, take your fresh pine branch and you can sweep out those the energy that's stuck in the corners, that real sticky stuff. Um, when you get to your front door or back door, some people have a mudroom where people come and go. A lot of people come in with energy. Something happened in school today. Something happened at work today. Something happened when I was out in the world. Um, that energy kind of comes in and anything that doesn't belong in our sacred space, we want to cleanse out of our area. So you can um, take this little mixture right here and put it in your water. And um, you can also just take a bit of rosemary as it's mixed into the salt and press it into the door and then give it a really good sweep. And as you're sweeping, you're sweeping out the old, you're sweeping out anything that doesn't belong in your sacred space. So just make it clear that's your intention. Um, sweep out any of the corners that feel a little bit sticky or slimy. And you just wanna make sure that you feel Good. If you have hardwood floors, a bit of rosemary essential oil, there's tons of it. You can get it anywhere online. Um, get some rosemary essential oil if you don't have fresh rosemary and let your hardwood floors be absorbed. You can steam it into the hardwood. They will really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to add some lemon, you are welcome to do that as well. And just get the rosemary cleaning out all this stuff we've been holding in all winter. So we make lots and lots of space for our new seeds to be planted. Okay, we'll see you in the butterfly circle.